What made you think, you know what, maybe it is diet? So it was a long process. Once I hit the wheelchair and I realized it's up to me to do everything I can to slow my disease, I went back to reading the basic science. I'm reading these basic science articles about the animal models of MS. And at first, I'm experimenting with supplements to support my mitochondria. Eventually, I have this brilliant aha moment, like, what if I redesign my paleo diet in a very specific way to stress the nutrients that the basic science says are critical to your brain? So that's a few more months of research. But, and then when I did that, it started on December 26th. I started eating all of these foods. And it was stunning. Within a month, my, my pain, my horrific pain is gone. My brain fog is gone. And I'm clearly beginning to get stronger. And just as a science lesson for everyone watching, with multiple sclerosis, your own immune system is attacking basically a protective sheath, protective covering of nerves in your brain and spine. It's why people with MS, no two people are alike in terms of their symptoms. But it's also, I think, highlighting how you were able to shut that process off to some extent. Yes. You, you designed this system through hardcore research science. And when did you know you were onto something? Well, when I realized that my energy is improving, my pain is gone, and my physical therapist is like, you're getting stronger, Terry. He had me starting to lift weights. Uh, and he kept advancing what I was doing. I realized now I'm getting stronger. I'm, I, that I began walking around the hospital. Uh, and then you know, it was about four months into this. I'm going to see the University of Iowa professor of medicine. I'm, I decided it's too far for me to walk because it's about a half mile. So I'm going to take my scooter. But my scooter dies on the way. And I have to push my scooter <laughs> to the professor's, uh, to the hospital entrance, then walk up to the university. It's like, oh, this is stunning. Uh, so your and, scooter broke down, and, and for you to get the there, hill. you had to push it up a hill. It. Not only and did that's... you walk, but you pushed it. Your I pushed it up the hill. And I left it by the door, and then uh, they offered to call the patient mobile. And I'm like, well, how long would that be? So, oh, about 20 minutes. I, oh, no, no, I, I'm late. I got to keep going. So I, I finished walking into my uh, chair of medicine's office, and I apologized for being late. I said, you know, my scooter broke down. He goes, oh, you had to wait for the patient mobile. I said, no, 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 I, I, I just... I pushed it up the hill and I walked over. He goes, Terry. Now, at this, now, <laughs> when you were pushing your scooter, what was going through your mind? Were you surprised? Oh my God, I yes. mean, what were you <laughs> thinking? Yes, yes, I was absolutely surprised. You know, and, and fortunately, my chair of medicine had seen the decline, now saw this amazing recovery, and he goes, oh, you must be on Tizabri. Huh. I said, no, 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 I'm not on Tizabri. Actually, I'm off all my disease-modifying drugs with my neurologist approval. I'm just doing this with diet and lifestyle. Uh, and so he said, this is profound, Terry. Your assignment now is to get a case report written up. Work with your treating medical team and get this written up. And then after I got it written up, he called me back. I thought to praise me for getting the case report written up. He said, now I want you to do a safety and feasibility trial. And that was in uh, 2009 that we got started. We started enrolling our people in 2010. Can you talk a little bit about the protocol you use, sure. and then how you have now parlayed that into clinical trials? Absolutely. So at, at first, based on my research, I had this long list of foods I needed to stress. But as I was teaching this to others, I had to have a framework so people could implement it more easily than a list of foods. So it's a lot more vegetables, three cups of greens, uh, spinach, chard, kale, etc. three cups of sulfur-contained vegetables, cabbage, onion, mushroom family vegetables, and three cups of deeply pigmented stuff, beets, carrots, berries. Then I wanted to have organ meat, liver, uh, once a week, and uh, ideally oysters, mussels, uh, heart as well. 